All right, I'm just gonna wait for everyone to get in. And then we're gonna get started. I'm still waiting for people to roll in. We'll get started in just a minute. We're just going to give it another minute or two. People are still rolling in and then we'll get started. We still have people rolling in, so we're, we're continuing to wait just a minute longer. We'll just get started in a minute, everybody. Okay, I think our numbers have stabilized, so we're gonna get started. Thank you for joining us, everybody. I'm Andrew Pekar, president of Nurson, here to welcome you to our Customer Connect, our summer 2020 virtual summer market. Thank you for joining us. It is our sincere hope of the entire Nurson family, you and yours have stayed safe and healthy through these very trying times. The pandemic has changed so much and altered so many plans for 2020, but it's also made us appreciate many things, uh, nothing as much as our healthcare and frontline workers. These days, heroes deserve our gratitude and respect, and above all, they deserve to have all of us who rely on them doing all we can to stop the spread of COVID-19. Gio, you want to move the slides? Thank you. We are fortunate and grateful that through all of this, we've been able to keep the entire nurse on team intact with no furloughs or layoffs and managed to safely keep our distribution centers up and running at full speed. We had, strong, we had a strong inventory foundation going into this and continue to maintain a steady flow of production and inventory 
with minimal interruption to our overall supply. We want to thank all of you, our loyal customers, for finding ways to continue to do business in this challenging environment. Kudos for all your creativity and innovation it took to keep things going, allowing Neuroson and our industry overall to continue to do what we love best. Adding beauty to people's interiors and exterior living spaces. As the home has taken a more prominent role in all our lives, we have high hopes for the home, home furnishings industry going forward. While we are still on schedule uh, to be open for our summer Las Vegas market from August 30th to September 3rd, we do realize that many cannot make it for an in-person event. Therefore, we felt it important to provide a virtual one as well. Again, we thank you for joining us and hope you find this virtual market informative and useful. Uh, at the end of the session, we're going to have a Q&A uh, after our presentations. On the bottom of your screen, you should say a Q see a Q&A button. And if you have any questions, please write it in the Q&A section and we will answer questions at the end. To start off, I'd like to welcome our own Kim Welling and our special guest, renowned designer, David Santiago. Thank you, Andrew. So we're going to jump right into our chat with New York, New Jersey based interior designer David Santiago of Casa Santi Interior Design. David is the current co-president of IFDA New York chapter and the former president of IDS New York chapter. Uh, so David, where are you? <laughs> and I am here. Oh, there you are. <laughs> Good to see you. <laughs> Likewise, my dear, thank you so much for the warm welcome, and it's a pleasure and honor to be here. And um, hello to everyone out at Neurosan. Um, I'm so delighted to be part of this virtual market tour and wish good health and, and prosperity to everyone. Yes, and we love having you with us for our virtual market. Uh, so tell us, how have the past couple of months been for you uh, during the pandemic, and how has it affected your business? Well, like everyone else, in the beginning, it was the unknown of what we were going to do the first month and then um, how to navigate projects that were in action, were active and projects that were going to suddenly become inactive. And as the months, you know, went on, then I started uh, relying on some of my resources that I, I work with hands on. Um, I do a lot of work on site and I would reach out to contractors, clients, and, and uh, vendors that were all active, however active they were, we found a way to keep the thread and the momentum going. Um, it was difficult, uh, and I, I feel truly blessed that, you know, I didn't lose momentum um, as far as, you know, interior design work coming my way. However, it was how to navigate it once, you know, the, the restrictions were lifted, what we could do and not do. Um, and also, it opened up uh, new ideas for a lot of my clients and pers prospective clients of what they wanted to focus on, um, projects that they had potentially on hold that now suddenly were important or relevant to them being at home and, and discovering that they wanted to move forward because they were gonna be home um, and working from home. So the opportunities to do home offices and things like that have presented themselves. Um, I'm, I'm very lucky. And then, so everything's been still like communicating virtually? Yeah, everything is virtually. Um, but again, I was able to selectively choose the projects to be able to visit with a mask one-on-one -on -one, uh, social distancing, even to just plan ahead, being that um, I'm such a hands-on uh, driven uh, design, des design firm or designer, um, I didn't do a lot of virtual design planning. I did meetings like we're having right now, conversing and so forth, which was newer to me. Um, anyone that knows me, my office is in the car or on location or at one of the trade shows. So it was a new idea of having to, to use Zoom and, and, and do at home planning uh, for the, the type of work that I do. Uh, but again, you know, there were a couple of key projects that kept me busy. And um, right now they're in full bloom. And we're all really being careful, wearing our masks, 
planning accordingly uh, uh, with every regulation to the particular town. Every town has its own structure and, and so forth. So you got to respect all of that. I, I, I think that answers, I hopefully answered the yeah. question. <laughs> Now, since COVID-19, uh, do you stay constantly in work mode or uh, have you found some time to do uh, other things while you've been at home? Since COVID, uh, the newest thing, uh, working from home, has been getting involved with the design trade via the IFDA New York chapter and Interior Design Society. Uh, first and foremost, I'm the co-president of IDS, uh, um, IFDA New York chapter, and we went right into planning. How can we sustain the organization from live interaction to virtual? So we've implemented a weekly Wednesday webinar that keeps us busy, and now a Monday webinar that is exclusively towards lighting that you're going to be happy, happily to hear this, that we're expanding into rugs, accent home, and photography down the road, which we'll be inviting you on to share more of this virtual market. Um, so that's kept me busy uh, with the planning committee. Uh, it's been a weekly endeavor, and it's been a little bit of a saving grace for me that I've had this uh, organization and friends in, in the industry and colleagues to be able to weekly connect as if they were almost an employer or a company that I was working for. Great. Uh, now you're also an opera singer uh, and have performed at opera houses, uh, Carnegie Hall, High Point Market. Uh, so when did your passion for opera begin and uh, what steps did you take to become a tenor? Well. I would say that came a bit by surprise. Um, early along in my, in my career when I was doing my draperies and soft furnishings and trying to figure out what I wanted to do, I went to, th uh, to study theater. Theater led me quickly to do a musical and that's where I acquired the taste for song and classical uh, music. And the director after the show really was uh, a mentor and said, David, you have to go go study voice. So fast forward, I looked at some programs and I went to start taking voice lessons at Madison Conservatory of Music. And six months into private lessons, my voice teacher wonderfully said, you know, David, you have something. Um, I think you should consider becoming a voice major. So I went into my thinking cap thinking I was going to be a triple threat, actor, dancer, singer, and pursue that. But I got the classical bug and I auditioned for the conservatory and I got a scholarship at Madison Conservatory of Music. So um, I'm going to say early in my 20s, I discovered that I, I wanted to study classical music. And then I uh, discovered I was a tenor. I had no idea what type of voice type I was. So those of you that have uh, desires to possibly sing, you, there's always hope for everyone. If I can sing, um, you, I, I'm going to say you can sing. Uh, I, I didn't know I was a singer. I wasn't born a singer. And it just evolved, like my design business evolved. And through um, form and function, as we say in design, is how I navigated my singing career. You know, structure and, um, and discipline and the rules that we apply to design. And I've had this fortunate uh, life of living this sense of duality with both careers that have led me, led, led me to wonderful platforms, the stages of Lincoln Center, Carnegie Hall, and the stages of High Point and uh, the interior design world and it, it, this platform. So I'm truly blessed. Thank you for asking. Great. And um, so tell us about uh, your hospitential concept and uh, how you go about applying it to your projects. Hospitentially yours is what I call it. Um, you know, I ventured into product design a couple years ago and my, my wall covering collection is truly what was my stepping stone into the hospitality world. And I've always been a fan of it, but I got my feet wet and my hands wet and I decided to uh, take a, a step forward. But ironically, I was actually doing some of the concept itself. And it, what it is is uh, the marriage of hospitality into the residential world. I have clients that travel all over the world from Vegas to Singapore, Italy, and they would come back from their travels and stay in these wonderful lavish hotels that have full service, beautiful artwork and rugs and decor and furnishings. And they would say, David, I want some of that in my home. And that's where it started really 
where it was born. And I didn't realize it had a name until I decided to do a concept for the show house uh, last year fall at High Point and I where I incorporated your your La Rev collection area rug my wall covering my lighting which happens to transfer over to hospitality as well as well and I thought what better way than to marry all you know both worlds and call it hospitality uh hospitential hospitentially yours and you know there's resumercial there's commercial so it's the marriage the amalgamation of different styles and to be able to take the ingredients of both worlds and really define it to your client or the project or the task at hand, I think is the, the, essential, uh, the essential key to getting it right and ultimately defining your client. Okay, great. Uh, and then what type of products, colors have you been currently uh, looking into or what's been catching your eye? Well, um, I've been looking at neutrals of all things. Um, and what I mean by that is um, what kind of neutrals speak to me? What blush tones, what pink tones, what light earth tones speak to me? So I've been playing with that and incorporating that, introducing them into the new lighting collection that I have. And also uh, learning how to navigate uh, the sense of tonality and, and the vibrancy of color for mainstream. Not everyone wants this type of color like behind me and intensity or wants to see it long term like I do. So how to take the color trends, you know, the new teals and the greens and the aubergines and all of those and apply them to good interior design uh, concepts that I have. Um, you know, I follow the global trends like a lot of designers. I listen to some of the top leaders, um, for example, like Patty Carpenter, and I have my own sensibility of, of what I, I gravitate towards, especially through fashion. I follow the fashion markets. What's happening in fashion always transfers over to, into the home furnishings and textiles industry. And what speaks to me um, isn't always necessarily about how I good uh, delegate my interior design, but how I'm going to incorporate those accents from my clients. And um, a lot of that is prevalent in your rug collections that you show at markets and uh, that stand the test of time. Great. And uh, we have a, a selection of neutrals uh, and different colors that we'll be showing you soon. <laughs> That's great. I, and I have some favorites when, if you want to know some of my favorite. Yes, areas. actually, that was, that was my next question. What, what are some of your favorite Norison products? Sure. My new favorite neutral is an indoor-outdoor rug from the Key Largo collection. I love that it looks like a beautiful cable knit sweater, yet feels like I could walk and dance on it. So that's one of my favorites. Um, and then I always like my animal prints. Wildlife is one of my more recent area rugs that I purchased for a, a friend and colleague in Lake Charles, uh, Louisiana. And of course, Le Rev, which is dear to me from the intensity of, of, of the vibrant colors to the neutrality of the chocolate and the taupes that you offer, which I've used several times for, in different projects. Prismatic is still one of my favorites when you introduced it and you keep playing with the shapes, uh, the, the patterns and the colors. Love seeing what you're doing with that. And two classic broad looms that have always been with me and still with me. The Manhattan Collection, which has, a, I think, a kind of art deco feel to it with its geometry and color palette. And the Ashton House, uh, traditional at heart, yet timeless and classic. I love those and I continue to always see what you're doing. Twilight is another one that I recently use in a dining room that um, is just so so um, contemporary and modern and yet uh, it, tra it, it translates over many different styles of, of design. Great and uh, you know we have uh, some new uh, prismatic designs that we're going to be introducing uh, during this market so we can't wait to show that to you. Um, David thank you so much for joining us. Uh, and it's great to have you for our summer market. Thank you. Thank you so much for taking time to learn a little bit more about me and to um, go on this journey for the virtual market. It's an honor and privilege. I'm a big fan. Hi, Julie. <laughs> great. So um, now I'm going to introduce uh, Julie Rosenblum and Jeff Gonzalez. They are going to discuss uh, some new and, and exciting area rug introductions. Thanks, Kim and David. That was great. That was a really inside look at, uh, at our interior design uh, stories. That was really cool. Um, all right, so 
Um, I want to start by talking about some of our new um, introductions and our distinctive best-selling collections that really represents the DNA of Neurosan. So my favorite collection um, is the Prismatic. It's a tremendous success and it's been uh, some of the most amazingly um, uh, hand-tufted, uh, crafted products uh, on display in our showrooms. Uh, in the front of all of our showrooms, it's really an amazing, uh, densely hand-tufted product with using the finest raw materials, uh, full of statement pieces. Uh, there's really nothing else like it uh, available in the market. Hi, Jeff. Hi, everyone. Uh, hey, Jules. Hi. Like the rest of the collection, two additional uh, rugs have been added to Prismatic for 2020 that are sure to be instant winners. The PRS 18 that you see now um, is just breathtaking. It, it, it can be bold and exciting all, all the way at the same time. It, the rug has vibrancy that is like pure art for the floor and will anchor any living space with unexpected yet harmonious color combinations. It's really pure artistry. Look at the texture, the shading, the hand carving, <clears throat> the luster. It has all the elements of a fine handcrafted masterpiece masterpiece, excuse me, and really is indicative of Neurosan and Neurosan's DNA. If you're working with an oversized room that needs a custom rug, this rug would absolutely be breathtaking or any prismatic for that matter. Yeah, they're really amazing. Uh, these, um, they're, they're such beautiful, subtly and sophisticated. Um, the, one of the best um, newest collections or newest designs within the collection is the PRS-19 Seafoam Silver. This is, is just a breathtaking, stunning piece. Uh, it gives you more tonal uh, textures and shadings um, and the craftsmanship is, is amazing for really more subtle palette and fashion colors. So uh, although all of the prismatics are just real works of art, um, we got some spectacular new introduction out in this, uh, this new collection. One of our most elegant and successful collections is our Starry Nights collection. Jeff, I think it's just dreamy. Uh, <laughs> meticulously woven in a high-low construction, emulating hand carving while using the finest denier silk-like fiber. These rugs truly recreate a look and feel of fine handmade Persian silk rugs. The Starry Nights collection already is expanding to even bring us more beautiful dreams. Uh, yeah, Julie, you're all right. They are dreamy. All right, so just take a look at some of the intricacy of these designs. They're really fantastic. The detail, uh, the texture of these starry nights are so beautiful to behold, really. They have the most luxurious feel. E these images don't even do it justice. You really have to touch and feel these products. These new additions add some wonderful new pattern and color options. Uh, like the original, they're all infused with our state-of-the-art Nuri Guard. Uh, that's our fiber protection. Um, so the Starry Nights uh, Editions expands on the collection that already offers the fabulous look and feel uh, with superior performance. It's, it's an amazing new collection. Absolutely. Norison is continuously developing its rug collections with the Kathy Ireland Worldwide brand. Kathy, if you're on, love you. Um, we're proudly expanding the Malta collection, a top selling collection within Kathy Ireland. You can see why these rugs are so well received. These new additions continue to offer the old world designs in a look and feel of time honored antiques. Our combination of neutrals with an anchor of rich blues and pops of coral are sure to please any decor. Yeah, that, uh, that Malta collection's really come a long way. It's really gorgeous. All right, so now We've got some new introductions for fall 2020 uh, that we've got to show you guys. So one of the new ones um, that we just uh, came out with uh, that we're really excited about is Colorado. Um, so this collection embodies our casual texture, right? So they're classic and they're simple, but it, they're, yeah, they're really fashionable. Uh, they're hand tufted, 100% uh, New Zealand wool with organic geometric patterns to accentuate uh, the rugged textured pile uh, of these uh, beautiful rugs. 
uh, with an overall sort of natural organic look. So Colorado offers a feel and that rustic texture um, with real ap apparent value. They got a big chunky hand to them as well. So they really feel great underfoot. The next collection that we're gonna talk about is Infinite. It has infinite possibilities. The sophisticated <laughs> styling is subtle, yet it is cool, saturated neutral color palette that is accented with silk-like highlights. As you can see in the picture, the, the silk is just popping. They're just, they're gorgeous. It has a soft, lustrous pile and an updated traditional designs. This collection has the look of a, hand, of, the, of a fine handmade rug, the feel of a, high, a fine handmade rug at an incredible value. Yeah, that's a, that's a classic Gorgeous. collection. That's oh, really pretty. Beautiful. Absolutely. All right, so um, Neuroscience has a long um, heritage of producing uh, beautiful hand knotted rugs. Uh, and the latest period uh, of these traditions is our new plateau uh, collection. So this textured variegated stripe, uh, it's casual, right? Uh, but yet it's very timeless as well. This is made of a space dyed spun wool in a Tibetan weave um, yeah. in a cut and loop construction. So it's got this neat kind of nubby textured feel to it. These luxury fibers and multicolor blends add another layer uh, to the rug that are stunning in their simplicity uh, and, and versatile in, in, in almost any application. Uh, so the Plateau Collection is truly uh, works with almost any decor. It's going to be one of the standout uh, hits of this year. I know it because it's just so classic and beautiful. Absolutely. They're just gorgeous and you can't, you just want to kind of touch and like it's yeah. got like a chunky hand. Yeah. Um, we're going to go over some of the new product highlights for Calvin because some of these rugs are just spectacular and we wanted to share them with everyone. The first collection we're going to talk about is Calvin Klein Balion Collection. And it comes to life through a realistic imagery that creates an optical illusion. These rugs have multiple layers to the design to keep you intrigued. You keep looking because every time you see something else that's a little bit more interesting. The luxurious understated high low details coupled with dense low pile, a silky sheen, which is kind of hard to tell, but they have, they have a silk like look to them and subtle French finish makes it ideal for the modern aesthetic of Calvin Klein. Yeah, that collection is, it's almost impossible to like not fall in love with one of those. That is an absolute stunning collection. Uh, all right, so uh, moving on to the uh, new uh, Calvin Klein Abyss. Uh, this is another new one, uh, an iconic Calvin Klein. It's a story of modern minimalist refinement through texture again. Each rug is hand woven using Tibetan weaving technique in a random cut and loop linear formation. So it gives you this really cool textured feel to it. Uh, so these rugs are modern and neutral palettes. Uh, they're subtle with really almost this unexpected shimmer to them and also available in custom sizes. This is one of those uh, collections that kind of uh, goes under the radar, but everyone that sees them and touches them absolutely falls in love with them. They do, and it's hard once again in the slides to be able to see the beauty of the movement of the linear because it's random with the silk-like fibers for the highlights. Uh, the Gorgeous. next collection is Riverstone. Riverstone um, has been a runaway hit. It's reflective of the quintessential point of view of Calvin Klein, expertly handwoven in a thick loop pebble weave, which means if you can see up close in the pictures, they're really chunky pebbles. They look like pebbles in alternating sizes randomly um, to create intrigue and illusion of nature. They're made of all natural wool and these rugs are a subtle statement in any room where you want to relax and comfort in style. And we stock it as large as a 10 by 14, but it also comes available in custom sizes. Jeff, could you imagine that like in a 12 by 18? Yeah, oh my God, yeah, oh it's my incredible. God, yeah. 
yeah, when you feel this thing, it is just, it's, it's, it's like two inches thick. It's gigantic. It's so inc impossibly huge, but it's one of it's the most awesome. gorgeous products. Really it's cool awesome. looking. I'm so glad we came up with that. That's a new, that's a neat new one. I like that one a lot. Sure. All right. So we complete our Calvin Klein pre uh, representation with our new leather Northwest. This is really, really cool looking. So it's inspired actually uh, by the works of a Dutch painter, Mondrian. It's hundred percent um, hair on hide leather. Uh, that are meticulously crafted uh, uh, by combining the rectangles and variegating shapes and sizes, right? So, and it's finished with this cross stitch, uh, if you can see closely, you see these X's all over. Uh, the natural leather coupled with the simplicity of the design elements, um, it really, it's a signature modern minimalism of Calvin Klein. Uh, also available in custom sizes as well. So that's another beautiful new intro. Um, so uh, thanks, Julie. Thanks, everyone. Um, now you got it. Now we want to introduce uh, our um, our. You know, what I want to say is Mina is the creator of the Mina Victory brand, and Mina Victory and Megan Walsh will take you through some of our beautiful, new, exciting happenings in our decorative accessory category. Take it away, ladies. Thank you, Jeff. Hi, friends. Thank you. Good to see all of you. I wish I could see you. Um, hope you're all well and safe. We miss all of you and wish um, I could see each and every one of you in person, but um, hope that soon we will welcome you to our real showroom, showrooms with open arms. In our short virtual presentation, we are presenting how we use same Pantone on different qualities and fibers in different price range and how it works together like a symphony of colors. Today we present navy, yellow, and blush um, colors and additions to our uh, plush collection. Megan Walsh, Julia Pekar, and Larissa Robinson, or me, are always available to answer all your questions. Please don't hesitate to call or email us at any time. We love to hear from you. Now Megan is presenting our Navy story. Megan. Thank you, Mina, and thank you everyone for being here with us again. We are so excited to show you all that we've been working on for you. In the next few slides, we are showcasing our gorgeous collection of navy accents. Our unique mix of textures each take our Pantone color differently, and that allows for a beautiful blend of blues in our collections. We accent these prints and woven yarns with ivories and whites and finish them off with special details like hand stitching and tufted pom-poms and fringes. These pillows, throws, and poofs are the perfect addition to any space, including beach houses, boats, and more. Our yellow pantones is borrowed from rays of sun, vibrant and yet elegant, creating happiness in your living space. As you see in this Pantone, is the same thing as the navy, that each fiber takes um, the color differently. Um, and our cotton slob is deeper yellows and are called mustard. And for sure, they're hot and spicy. Brighter ones are simply yellow, pillows with tassels on printed cotton, or smooth velvet like our RC190 round pillows in Sophia collection and jungle printed velvet AC230. Megan? Blush has quickly become one of our most popular color stories. We love to add this beautiful Pantone to lush velvets and ultra soft woven cotton textures. Our collection includes subtle embroidered patterns like this one with playful tassels and fringes. We accentuate the color using special techniques on the fabrics such as hand dyeing and stone washing, creating a look that is calming, rich, and sophisticated. One of our favorites is YS104 coming up in the next slide. 
This smooth, silky velvet pillow is embellished by hand with gorgeous Swarovski-like crystals. This design is like a piece of jewelry for your home. You can find this look and others in our newest collection, Sophia. Thank you, Megan. Our newest addition to our plush collection are pillows and throws. The rainbow uh, pillow is made of soft cotton and ruffles in beautiful pastel colors with coordinating small quilt covered in small rainbows and framed in rainbow trim. Our under the sea quilt is a lot of fun with patchwork of colorful sea turtle, starfish, and more. And our whale and narwhal pillows are a ton of fun. And of course, um, our baby shark in person to carry around and sing shark to do to do. Two-sided pillows, um, uh, printed two-sided pillows. Uh, are with um, a play, a clever play of uh, names of vegetables and fruits, creating a fun and sweet taste for kids to love vegetables and fruit. Our two-sided soft sequin fofer pillows in iridescent um, pink and blues are very playful and with a hint of soft bling. Vibrant and yet smooth, adding brightness to any of your rooms. And of course, regards from our plush friends. No need to social distancing or mask with our friends, with your, with your animal friends. Just a great hug, so cushy and soft and deliciously happy. All the links to our catalogs will be in the emails following this presentation. Please stay safe and hope we get to greet you in our showrooms in a very near future. Now Gerard O'Keefe and Bob Tucci are introducing our Forever Sisal. Thank you. Thank you, Mina. Uh, Welcome everybody. Thank you for all for joining us. Uh, it's a pleasure having you. Hope everything's going well and you're staying safe. Uh, one major trend in home has been has been a steadily increasing emphasis on outdoor living spaces. Uh, outdoor is a huge category now in, uh, in all aspects of home furnishings. While outdoor rugs are a significant part of that, we found that the entire the entry level price points are flooded, but there's a major hole in the luxury flooring options for the outdoor. The new Wearer Sisal from our Craftworks by Neuris Online solves that in a beautiful and versatile way. That's right. When you make a large investment in your outdoor furnishings, you want a rug that complements the decor, maybe even one that is customizable to the space. Wherever Sisal provides a gorgeous textural look and a hand-woven basket weave design. It emulates the look of natural sisal that is so popular in decorative high-end interiors. But because of its innovative UV stabilized polypropylene fibers, it can be used wherever, even in the outdoors. Exactly, the, the high quality nubby texture comes in a variety of colors from um, to bold for either indoor or outdoor decor. And with the matching wide edge finish made from the same UV stabilized fiber, we can customize any size up to 15 foot wide. So wherever sisal can be made in whatever size and go wherever you need to make an upscale decorative statement on your floor, your deck, your patio, very versatile. Wherever sisal is just one uh, in a vast selection of handcrafted wide width broadloom and custom rugs available in our Craftworks by Nurison. Uh, be sure to ask your local territory manager to show you all you can do with Craftworks by Neurosan that does in both broadloom and custom rugs. It's a, it's a fantastic collection of handcrafted items. Well, thank you for participating today in our Customer Connect Summer Virtual Market. You can see more new introductions as well as videos and catalogs of our new collections at neurosan.com backslash summer market 2020. You can shop online with a trade account or ask to be connected with your local territory manager. 
If you do not have a trade account, visit norsun.com summer market 2020 to have a territory manager or show manager contact you. You will receive a thank you for attending email with the summer market link after this event is over. Also, we have limited time market specials that will expire August 30th. So please be sure to contact your Norison sales professional. We will now open up for Q and A session. Thanks again for your time. Stay safe and hope to see you in person soon. Thanks, Bob. Uh, I'd like to ask all the panelists to turn on your microphones and cameras so we can see all of your beautiful faces. And um, just to, as a reminder, we have a Q&A uh, at the bottom. There's a Q&A button. Please type in your questions. I have a few. Uh, My camera's restricted a little. Your camera's restricted? Let's see if I can unrestrict you. Unrestrict me. There you go. I should do it. OK. Start my video. There we go. Great, great presentation. Bravo. Thank you. I mean, you know, this is just a small sampling of, of, our, of our lines. And, and you don't have a lot of time to do it. We want to keep everybody engaged as best as possible. We don't want to bore, bore anybody or go on too long. So, um, you know, we try and put a smattering of what we have around, but uh, Nurison.com has everything that you need. And, uh, you know, we, we really uh, want everyone to go there and see what they have or talk to, our, talk to their rep or go to Summer Market 2020 at Nurison.com and, and ask to talk to your rep and they'll, they'll be happy to have a conversation with you. So I have a couple of questions. Uh, First of all, David has a has a fan that wants to know if you if you ever come to the opera in Naples, she'd like to meet you. Thank you. Um, that has actually been in the works. Um, we'll we'll see in the new year. Florida is definitely on my mind. We have Naples and and Miami as well, and um, also uh, it's Sarasota Opera with Victor Durenzi. So thank you for acknowledging. Wow, that's cool. So, so I have a, I have a couple of questions for you, David. Uh, how do you how do you design around the rug? Do you do the rug first? Do you do you find a wall and say, hey, I can work with that? Or how how do you start the process of finding a rug for a room? Sometimes a rug finds me. In all honesty, um, <laughs> you know, when I go to trade shows and I and I walk into a showroom and I see a rug, I I. I want, I'd like to say I have a photographic memory, but I take a picture of it and I go, I'm going to use that some, somewhere, somehow. And right away when I'm working on projects, things come to me. And when I, when I go to the trade shows or I stop into your showroom in Saddlebrook and I'm perusing through all the samples, I, I take images. Um, so sometimes it, st it starts with the rug. Sometimes it, it starts at, in the middle to the end of the design project. I'm not uh, a designer that necessarily starts with the rug, though that is a wonderful platform to start with and build from. Sometimes it happens towards the end when a rug wasn't even part of it. And then I call you guys and I go, I need this rug. So um, part of my design process is a part of, about how fast I work and, and how fast I curate the elements of it. Um, but there's always a foundation. There's a color story, there's uh, the form and function, how the space is gonna be utilized and who's gonna be you know, utilizing that space. And that also is a key player, of uh, what kind of rug I'm going to recommend to my client for the wear and tear factor. Um, you know, whether they're kids, a family room, a living room, recreation, all of that. And sometimes like th these new introductions that you just, introduced, um, particularly the Colorado one with a Mondrian inspired pattern. I'm not one that's particular to leather, but that's going to stay on my mind when I have a client that is looking for that type of stitch work and appreciates that type of uh, pattern and leather, I will utilize that. So that's how things uh, stay work with me and how I work through during the, the process. Okay, very good. Do you, uh, do you find yourself uh pushing your own design aesthetic to your, to your customers or do you, do you hone in on what they're looking for or what their look and feel is? And do you, how, how do you, how do you manage 
maybe not putting your de design aesthetic, your own personal taste into uh, a, a, a client's project? It's a great question. As designers, um, I, I feel it's my, my, my job, my responsibility to define my client and its needs where, and then call upon my talent and experience and the way I, you know, put things together and create a story and guide them is truly how I work. Um, I'm going to go back to the, the, that Mondrian inspired rug. I don't particularly utilize leather in, in a lot of my work. However, there are many clients that love leather and want leather. That's, that's my job to define the, the, the task at hand, the, the client, the design concept, whether it's residential, a lobby of, a, a, of a, an apartment building. It's really a, a key element in how I work. Um, when they're looking for a little bit of the unexpected and a flair with the, you know, color and, and, and a twist, that's where I really come into full bloom and, and take them into what I call the scientification process. I let them get comfortable with the uncomfortable because they don't certainly need me to make them feel comfortable. They, they're, they're working with me for guidance and take them out of that comfort zone. Um, you know, there are a lot of savvy, smart consumers out there that can put things together, but it's up to us as designers to really elevate that and, and take them to the next level. Okay. Uh, thank you. One last question from the audience out there. Please elaborate how you follow fashion, especially now under the pandemic conditions. Well, I am constantly streaming the fashion shows, even some of the previous seasons that, that are relevant to our seasons. So I'm always surfing the internet um, and looking for the shows that um, Milan, Paris, all of those, even here in New York. And then sometimes a lot of designers have their own little uh, mini shows. And I love it's getting inspired from fashion. So I'm always looking for the next reel. I want to see what's new, what's next, as we say here in New York at the, at the New York Design Center. Um, and that keeps me percolating. Um, and I always go to my go-to designers like Ralph Lauren, he's a Lauren Chanel, and, and Gucci and Dolce Gabbana, to name a few, Balenciaga. And I draw inspiration from them. And it might not be a whole concept. It may just be a buckle. It may be, you know, an accessory or a color story. Last year, Ralph Lauren did some wonderful yellows and primary tones that I just spoke to him going, I'm on trend, you know, and that's what I look for. Um, a, a, a conversation of style between them and myself and they have no idea I'm having it. Okay, great. Thank you, David. Thank you. Um, one, one of the topics that we didn't touch on was the rug boutique. And that's something that's been a highly successful product for us. Um, and one of the questions is, is Starry Nights available for the rug boutique display? So um, I'll, let, I'll let one of you guys uh, answer that question. Hi, yeah, the Starry Nights is actually one of the items that's in the process of being added to the rug boutique. So um, we, we have the samples and the, the POP on order now, and within a few months, that'll be one of the options for selecting and the rug boutique assortment. How many, um, how many SKUs do we have that you can choose from right now? Um, well, we didn't put them all in the rug boutique. I think we picked um, four no, of the best. No, not just the Starry Nights, but overall. Oh, like, overall we have, you know, very close to 400 items to select from. Okay. That's good. And uh, I'll ask this to, to Bob, since uh, Bob's been kind of slowly starting to travel a little bit. What do you see out there? I think people are curious to see what they're seeing, what, what you're seeing in other parts of the country. Um, give a little idea of what you're seeing out there. Hey, uh, on a general note, I see that designers are staying busy. They had a lot of projects pre-COVID and a lot of projects coming up during COVID. I think people are spending more time at home less vacationing. So they're looking around saying, what can I do to spruce up the house? So design work has been very busy. Definitely the higher end showrooms have been extremely busy as well. Uh, so, I mean, it's really, there's a lot of activity. And I think there's pent up demand because now that more and more, you know, traditional retailers are starting to open their door, they're seeing that the traffic is coming through. 
That's nice. Is that the fire alarm system? In yeah, it's the fire alarm. Yeah. <laughs> Max. We got such hot deals here, it set off the alarm. Good timing to test the fire alarm. <laughs> <laughs> So as you can get, I'm not, I'm not in the building. I'm home. Uh, okay, thanks. How about you, Jeff? You've been in a couple of the stores. Uh, what are you seeing as far as store, some store activity? Yeah, yeah it's been, uh, it's actually been really, uh, really good. Um, what we're seeing here in the Northeast, of course, uh, with the furniture retailers, uh, they are as busy as they've ever been. They can't even get uh, – uh, enough of their uh, deliveries out the door uh, as fast as the orders are coming in uh, and, and traveling and seeing these furniture retailers. Brick and mortar is, is far from debt. Um, brick and mortar has actually seen a huge uh, increase uh, in pent up demand as you guys were talking about. Uh, um, in, in the stores, you're seeing uh, people taking goods off the floor if they can't get immediate delivery. Uh, they're seeing, uh, we're seeing their outlets uh, being even, uh, even a bigger draw because people really want to take it with them. Uh, so we are seeing um, not just um, uh, uh, the, the retail stores, but their outlet versions of their stores as well. Uh, being so uh, so important because people really want uh, to take something with them right then and there. So we're seeing uh, these brick and mortar stores really getting a, a nice uptick in business uh, from special order all the way to uh, uh, to their outlet stores as well. Okay, very good, encouraging, very very encouraging. Absolutely. Uh, another question is for Mina and Megan. Will you be introducing new accessories for Christmas? Quite, I don't know what you guys are doing for Christmas, so I'm asking the question too. <laughs> yes, we have a lot of new, um, most of our uh, Christmas is gonna be new. A lot of beautiful pillows, tree skirts, and uh, it's just gorgeous things coming in. Some of it is already in stock. We have holiday plush animals, we have coordinating yeah. stockings to hang. We have some really <laughs> exciting new, really cute Christmas and holiday projects yeah i think we're sending the link of the holiday um yeah. in in the emails following this virtual market okay thank you very good um all right anybody have anything else to add julie you want to add anything um you've been very quiet the last few minutes i'm i'm shocked <laughs> i'm trying to be good <laughs> yeah, and i'm impressed well, is David still here? Well, David, I'm still, probably I'm still here. here. I'm still here. You're still here. <laughs> yes. You know, our new prismatic would look fabulous in that room. <laughs> well, we can make that happen. I, I, I mean, I can literally run over and I'll be there in ten minutes. No. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Did you say, are you warmed up? Will you sing for us? Because we, I'm probably you're probably not warmed up. I don't want to put you on the spot. You no know one has asked me to sing on a Zoom yet, and it doesn't translate as 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 much as you would like it. Okay, but, next. Time. But, but I'll come in person and I'll sing okay. to you guys in person, twelve feet away. That's what I'll do. I'll sing twelve okay. feet away. I would oh. love that. Now, you're I'm getting, now I'm getting texts. They want Julie to sing. <laughs> yeah, I'll pull, it up, <laughs> I'll pull it to the delivery section. I'll hop on one of the 18 wheelers and I'll sing from the back <laughs> of the wheeler to that. Okay. Yeah. Did maybe, they maybe, tell maybe you what they wanted them. me to sing? <laughs> or a market. We'll put a drink or two in David and get him to belt something. Out. Yeah, that, okay. That, that okay. can be great. Or a song karaoke. Right. Video and singing over Zoom doesn't exactly yeah. translate very well. It doesn't. It's not, I, let me, hey, listen, I'll sing for you guys one day, I promise. Um, and I'm work, actually, I'm working on something for Bergen County, and I'll keep you posted if it does come to fruition. We're look, looking to do an outdoor concert towards the end of September or beginning of October, just to give performers yeah. and instrumentalists the, the opportunity to perform again, which is really um, a whole nother conversation. But I do have a question about this market and these collections. When are they going to be available? Um, good question. To see yes. uh, either me here in New Jersey or actually, you know, to order. Like, how fast can we get these? Wow. Who's taking I this question? Take this one. Most of most of the uh, collections we covered are, are available already. Um, stock. I know the Infinite is is already in stock. Julie, I think all the Calvins, all those Calvins have come in by now. Yep, the Calvins okay. are in. Um, uh, Colorado is either in or just about to come in. 
I think, I think the new Maltas are in as well. New Malt, the new Maltas in. Yeah, I think yeah, we're that's in. in pretty good shape what about the new Starry Nights? Are those in? That one I have to check. Yeah, I'll look right now. Hold on. Well, this, this is a great incentive, especially when you're introducing sure. things. Unlike the fashion world, some things do take, or cutting dates, as, as we say in case goods, they're right. cast you know, six months in advance, and you, you have to wait for them. This is instant gratification. You show us eye candy, yeah, yeah. and we can immediately start working with the product. Yeah. Well, you know, under the conditions, it didn't really seem to make sense to show something and say, oh, yeah, by the way, you can get it in January. Yeah, exactly. forget it. You know? <laughs> Um, one of the things that everyone really has to check out, I mean, for me, from a personal aspect, is that is the wherever sisal. I, I, I had them, I had the guys make during pandemic a couple of samples for me to put out in the, as, as um, like mats around the house. And I just threw them around the house and man, there, it's a great product. And uh, I think that's going to be one of our craft work hits, craft works hits. That's so, what I'm uh, calling forever sisal. Yeah, I, I know. I always get it, whatever, wherever, whatever, forever. I don't know. So thanks. Yeah, it's, for not, it's not going anywhere. So it's, it's forever also. Forever. Well, we made that one. Thanks very much. We appreciate that. Yeah. Uh, you know, what I'm thinking, I mean, not to put you on the spot, we can think about this, but, you know, since we are local and if you have a, a, at least a good percentage of this product in the, in the showroom or the warehouse, we can literally do a live virtual showroom with some of the product for when we do our, our rug seminars for the IFDA. So we can talk about that later, but I would- That would be great. We can set that up in the showroom. You can go around and- That's a great idea. Yeah, that would be awesome. And that way we can talk about how the touch and feel of Neurosan just- Push it. Push it. The new, the, the new dreamy starry nights will mm -hmm. start coming in <laughs> early September to the end of that September. Sorry, sorry, guys. Is he sang for you, Julie. Yes, he did. I love David. He always makes me happy. Oh, my God. Uh, so another question that just came in just a second, which is a good one. And yes, it's, the answer is yes, but I'll have Gerard answer. Will you offer another webinar with more focus on broadband? Sounds like a good idea to me. I like that idea. Yeah. Like I said, our, our collections are so vast. We have so much product that it's very hard to show everything um, because- And we uh, don't want to go too long and lose- I guess, I guess the pandemic had, uh, has, has forced us to be, a, 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 you know, a, 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 I don't know, people want instant gratification a lot and they want to walk into a store and buy a rug and walk out. And I know Broadloom is still very, very, we've, we've done a tremendous amount of business during the pandemic which is great uh, in Broadloom. So yeah, we need to do, and we'll have more webinars as the year unfolds as well. Um, this was kind of more like uh, in between Atlanta and, and Vegas and Vegas. that's more of a rug centric kind of thing. So we, we, we went more rug, um, but we're definitely gonna do more uh, Broadloom as, as time goes on. I think that's a great idea. I'm a big fan of Broadloom, especially some of your your, you know, your, your uh, what do you call them? The, the ones that stand the test of time that have been in your collection that are still relevant. You know, that, that customer, that traditional customer still exists. It's just a new traditional, you know, how to incorporate right. that. Um, tradition is very relevant. Not that, that that's the core of what you do, but um, that's how I came to learn about Neuroson many, many years ago when I was a little bambino. Um, starting out. Um, but those still stay on my mind. I did a project a couple of years ago where I used four or five of your broadlooms in, in an estate here in Bergen County. So yeah. they're live. They're, they're relevant. Yeah. Well, we do a tremendous and, and we have, uh, we actually have new additions in new colors coming in, in, in Grand Parterre and in the estate collection. So, you know, that'll freshen up those traditional collections. Is, is Grand Parterre the one with the leopard and the Greek key? Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's one of my favorites. I think it's classic, like a pair of, you know, classic shoes. I love that, that collection. And I loved it in the brown and pewter grayish tone that you had it in. No, I think it would be good for us to also, um, David, we love you and thank you so much for supporting us so much and being with us. Um, it's just very natural. I think it would be very good for us to also know from the viewers what we can do to help them. We have so many resources available and 
we have so many products, what are they looking for that we could help them with? And that should be something, whether it's David giving decorating tips, you know, you're on a budget, we could do a good, better, best with something from an inexpensive rug to a very expensive rug, or how do you easily transform a home? I think that with COVID and everything going on right now, people hey, are- Julie, we, don't, we don't just, these things don't just come out like this and we just get on and we uh, say, hey, let's do this. You know, it takes a lot. So yes, oh, no, that's for future. I'm saying future. I agree we should today. be doing these things. So uh, I did get some feedback just now that just said uh, wonderful as we rarely get to see new items these days. The webinar is the only way we can stay up to date. So we appreciate that. Um, so on that note, uh, I'd like to just remind you again, nurseon.com slash summer market 2020. Uh, we have specials on there. Uh, you talk to your rep. We have specials through um, through Las Vegas market, I believe, where you can get some, 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 uh, some discounts. And uh, we hope you enjoyed this webinar. And we hope you all stay safe. And we're glad to see you, as we say. And we hope to see you soon. Take care, everybody. Bye. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Bye. Thank you. See you guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.